Hey everyone, Ibrahim Malik here. And today I'm diving into something that's been absolutely transforming the way businesses operate. AI agents in automation platforms. In one hand, we have N, and in the other, we have Zapier. Okay. Both platforms have made huge strides with AI agent capabilities in 2025, okay? But they're taking completely different approaches. So after months of hands-on testing with both, uh, I have uploaded many of those vi videos in my automation uh, playlist. Please uh, watch those. I've got some, some unfiltered insights to share that could save you hundreds of engineering hours and potentially revolutionize your uh, business operations. So before we dive into the platform specifics, right, let's get clear, uh, crystal clear on what makes an AI agent different from a standard automation, okay? Uh, traditional automation is like a trained dog following very specific commands, okay? If this happens, do that. No deviation, no judgment calls. AI agents, on the other hand, they're more like, uh, like hiring a smart virtual assistant who understands your goals and figures out how to achieve them. So last month, I watched an N8N AI agent analyze over 50 customer support emails, prioritize them by urgency and sentiment, and draft personalized responses and only escalate the three truly complex cases to human agents. The ROI was immediate and massive. So these autonomous systems, uh, you know, can understand natural language instructions, right? Access tool, use tools to complete complex tasks, uh, make decisions based on context, uh, learn and improve over time, and adapt to changing conditions. But here is the million dollar question. Uh, which platform does AI agents better, right? N N or Zapier? I mean, there are a lot of others, but since I focus primarily on N N and Zapier, and I think both of them are, are world-class automation platforms. So we are going to dive into N N and Zapier's AI agent strategy. So let's just start with N N, okay? Let's look at N N positions itself as an as the AI native automation platform for the technically savvy teams who need you know deep customization and control, uh, their approach to AI agents absolutely reflects this philosophy, right? So at N and N's core sits the Langchain agent mode node. Uh, this isn't just another integration; it's a complete transformation of the platform from workflow tool into an AI agent orchestration platform. Okay, so now it's become in AI agent orchestration platform, okay? So what really sets N8N apart is their approach to AI agent construction. Okay. Uh, first, uh, they give you modular AI building blocks, nearly 70 dedicated AI nodes that you can mix and match to create sophisticated agents. Uh, this modularity means you are not stuck with one size fits, uh, one size fits all solutions, right? Second, you get incredibly deep technical control. Uh, you can select your preferred language model, whether it's OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, right? Uh, or others, fi fine tune memory uh, settings, uh, specify system prompts, and connect any combination of tools. And third, this is huge for organizations which is with the strict data privacy requirements. So N and self-hosting capability uh, you know, you can deploy AI agents on your own infrastructure, keeping sensitive data completely under your control. Uh, so I created an AI agent in NNN that monitors the client's Slack, extracts actions from, uh, I, you know, items from message threads, and automatically creates and assigns task in Asana. And complete with deadlines and priority settings uh, derived from conversational uh, context. The entire workflow took one afternoon to build, but saves their team hours of manual task management every week. The trade-off, and it demands technical expertise, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, uh, 
clear with you. If you don't have uh, uh, development resources or aren't comfortable with a node-based workflow editor, you'll face a steeper learning curve. On the other hand, right, let's look at look at Zapier, right? So Zapier's approach to AI agents, which is fundamental, uh, is fundamentally different. They are all about accessibility and ease of use. So Zapier allows anyone to create custom AI agents in minutes uh, using plain English. Okay, these agents can process leads, answer emails, manage calendars, and, and perform other routine tasks across Zapier's ecosystem of over 7,000 app integrations. Uh, this reflects uh, you know, Zapier's longest standing mission, making automation accessible to non-technical users, right? Rather than requiring users to understand the technical underpinnings of AI agent, Zapier presents them as superhuman teammates, right? That can be instructed in natural language. So Zapier's AI agents capabilities rely on three components. First, uh, first knowledge syncing, right? Zapier agents can connect to your business data sources to ensure they have accurate, up-to-date information. Uh, second, uh, action taking. So agents can perform tasks across Zapier's vast ecosystem of app integrations, from, uh, from you know, updating CRM records to, to uh, sending messages and creating documents. Third, the AI orchestration, uh, as Zapier positions itself as a unified platform where you can add you know, AI exactly where you need it, right? A step in a workflow, an autonomous agent or a customer chatbot, right? So last, last week, uh, I, you know, I helped someone uh, set up a Zapier agent for a small e-commerce uh, uh, firm that monitors their customers. Uh, you know, this agent monitors their customer support email, identifies product return requests, and automatically generates return labels and updates their inventory system and sends personalized follow-up emails. The entire process took a little over an hour to configure. I know some of you who are who you know could do it even in less, right? So it depends, how, you know, how frequently you use Zapier, right? So Zapier's most innovative contribution uh, might be its MCP server, right? That's machine control programming server. Uh, this technology gives AI assistants direct access to over seven thousand apps and thirty thousand actions without complex API integrations which allows them to perform real world tasks rather than just engage in conversation, okay? So it's not a bot that, you know, you're just going in and you're chatting with it, right? So it's, you're getting the, your work done. So the significance of this cannot be overstated. It's, it's effectively turns any AI model like ChatGPT or Claude into an action uh, taking agent that can interact with the apps your business already uses. All right, now for the showdown you've been waiting for, how do these platforms stack up when directly compared? Here is my unfiltered assessment across six key dimensions, okay? First, agent autonomy and intelligence. And at end, five stars, right? It provides sophisticated reasoning and decision-making capabilities, especially when connected to powerful language models. To Zapier, I will give four stars, okay? What Zapier loses in technical depth though, it gains in user-friendly autonomy, uh, the ability to understand natural language instructions. So winner, and it ends up with a steeper learning curve, okay? So uh, if you are technically savvy, Yes, and an N would work for you. But if you are, uh, if you own a line of business, if you're a business owner, entrepreneur, right? Uh, uh, Zapier would do your work, right? I mean, focus on what you do best. Why would you, why would you want to learn uh, something new, right? So Zapier is, is good for you. Uh, second option is integration capabilities, okay? And here I would give an N4 stars, uh, about 400 plus native integration, plus the ability to connect to any API. But Zapier here, my friends, get five stars, right? Uh, over 7,000 app connections and 300 plus AI tools. I mean, the most extensive ecosystem in the automation place, okay? So winner here uh, has Zapier by a mile for sheer volume and breadth of available integrations. 
Third is customization and flexibility. Okay. So in this in, in this category, I'll give Enit and five stars. Okay. Open source nature, custom node creation, and virtually unlimited API integration. Uh, Zapier, I'll give three stars. Uh, limited to preferred actions and apps, prioritizing ease of use over deep customization. So winner in this category, and it end by a significant margin. Okay. Fourth is ease of use and accessibility. So in this one, right, uh, and it end gets three stars. It's steeper learning curve with its node-based interface and technical requirements, but Zapier gets five stars. Natural language instruction, make it accessible to virtually any business user, okay? So winner here, hands down, is Zapier. Fifth is cost and scaling. So here I would give NNN four stars. Uh, can be self-hosted for free, making it potentially more cost-effective at a scale. Okay. However, uh, you, would need, you would need to calculate your total cost of ownership because then you will need technical expertise uh, on your payroll as well, right? Zapier, I would give three stars out of five. They're, they're paid plans that can become, you know, costly as usage increases. So, and, and for organizations with technical resources, right? And as I said, if you don't have technical resources and if you want to save uh, the, uh, your, your money by hiring someone, yeah, Zapier, uh, add both of those up. Most likely, Zapier will come out cheaper for you. Sixth category is AI capabilities and innovation, okay? And in this one, I'll give Enid and five out of five stars, all right? And an AI-native platform with advanced lang chain integration with 70-plus AI-dedicated nodes. Uh, Zapier is four stars. Impressive strides, but with limitations in terms of customization. Uh, winner? And it ends for depth and sophistication of his, uh, AI specific capabilities. So, which platform is right for you, right? It entirely depends on your specific needs, resources, and goals. Uh, but here is my practical advice for different scenarios. Okay. You should choose NNN if you have technical resources on your team. You need sophisticated AI reasoning for complex tasks. Uh, you need data private. You know, data privacy is paramount, and you prefer self-hosting. Uh, you need the ultimate flexibility for unique use cases. All of those go with NNN, right? Choose Zapier if you need something working fast. Implementation speeds, right? Uh, your team lacks uh, technical expertise, no problem. You rely on numerous apps and services that are already built. Your and if your use cases are relatively straightforward. Okay. So the AI agent landscape is evolving rapidly, right? Here is where I see things heading based on current trends. So multi-agent systems will become standard uh, terms of a specialized agents working together with, uh, will, and, and they will handle you know, different aspects of complex workflows. So you know, instead of having a one agent, one virtual assistant, you have you have a team of virtual assistants, right? Uh, agent memory will improve dramatically, right? C current limitation in context maintenance will be overcome, uh, leading to agents that can truly improve over time. And platform boundaries will blur technologies like Zapier's MCP server already enable you know cross-platform work, right? This trend will accelerate. And specialized industry agents will emerge rather than general purpose agents. Uh, we will uh, you know, see highly specialized AI, AI agents for specific industries from healthcare to finance to manufacturing. So reading about AI agent is one thing, deploying them to transform your business is another, right? Here is my advice for taking the next step. Uh, start with a specific, high value problem that's repetitive and well-defined. Uh, experiment with both platforms and it and it's free self-hosted option and Zapier's trial. Uh, begin with templates, then customize to your needs. And measure and impact, track time saved and error reduction, right? Things, things that are important to you. And scale gradually. Once you, know, once you prove uh, the concept, then just take baby steps.
the bottom line is this. AI agents represent the next evolution in business automation. A shift from, from, you know, from rigid rule-based workflows to intelligent adaptive systems. So whether you choose Anitent's technical depth or Zapier's accessibility depends on your organizations and your specific needs and capabilities, right? What's undeniable is that businesses effectively deploying AI agents will operate with greater efficiency adaptability and scale than those uh, that don't, right? All right, so if you found this valuable, hit the subscribe button and, and the notification bell to stay updated on the latest in AI automation. And if you are ready to transform your business with intelligent automation, you know, uh, connect with me. I, I help businesses implement the right AI agent solution for their specific needs from strategy to deployment and optimization, all right? I, I will uh, leave a link to my Udemy course on automation. Hopefully you'll join me there where I not only teach, but make uh, uh, my workflows available so you can repurpose them, use them, adapt them the way you want to. Until next time, I'm Ibrahim Malik. Have a great day.